Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Red Line Mons. Thanks for tuning back in. I know I look good. <laughs> Smash the like button for that. And for those of you guys who haven't subscribed yet, I'm just gonna go right off the bat. For you guys, there's thousands of views I'm getting per videos, and there's a lot of you who haven't subscribed yet. Please subscribe if it takes literally a second to do so. Do it, smash the like button, comment below. Appreciate the support. We're gonna go ahead and right, start into the total cost on this Accord, all right, that I've been working on. And just letting you guys know if you're trying to do like performance stuff or anything like that, we're gonna discuss all that stuff in the video right here. So what it cost me about was like maybe 2,500 max, uh, like literally from performance to bodywork stuff as well, but not the most expensive. It could run you about three grand, but if you want to do work on a 2.0, you could be looking at six grand, maybe seven grand total because you gotta get a Type R turbo swap, the PRL front mount intercooler, E85, the tune kit, the custom tune. So that that's where you get a couple grand extra there and that one. But yeah, airbags, three grand, best one, airlift. You can't go wrong with that. And I know my boy, I'll put his description, I'll put his IG in the description below who actually um, um, installs them for low. So if you're in New York, just let him know, all right? And we'll go ahead and start this video on this thing right now. I'll show you guys what, how much each part costs and at the end, I'll show the total cost for it. So let me turn the camera around for you guys and stay tuned, keep watching. All right, so right off the bat, we're going to it. Um, if you're looking at like the front uh, chrome part, it costs about 30 to 40 bucks. I plastic dipped my emblems, but if you wanna get like the gloss black emblems, honestly, they cost about 40 as well for the front and the back and the steering wheel. That's from Aeroworx Sports. Use discount code RLM5, Redline Mods 5. That's RLM5. I'll put it in the description below for you guys to make it easy. And I got supporting bars. I got video on how to install. I literally have videos on everything. Uh, just feel free to go through my uh, playlist. Um, the front lips, the lip, the lip costs about like 60 to 65. The supporting bars cost about 15. I got neodymium magnets right there for like the front plate. Whenever I park somewhere in the city, I just drop them on. So I don't get a no front plate ticket, but usually I never have them on, um, but only in the city where I have to pay the parking meter make sure if then somebody's walking by trying to give me a ticket for no front plate yeah it's not happening with me and i got five, 50 percent tents which were about 20 25 i think it was about 25 bucks about 28 with tax and that's that and then looking into um in the fog light covers i tended them for 10 bucks this side and the other side is pre-cut uh, again guys make sure you guys follow me on my instagram at redline mods dot official i'll put it in the i'll put it in the description below and if you're trying to work under the hood PRL intake um, or Takeda intake, you guys could go with. They both run about three to three fifty. Um, what else is it? Oil catch can maybe one seventy to two hundred. That's that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that part. And then here we have vinyl pre-cut vinyl from Crux Motorsports. Honestly, uh, those fit perfect. It's been almost two years now, and nothing wrong with them. Um, only that part right there is peeling off a bit but it's been two years but if you use a heat gun right now i'll fix it and be perfectly fine for another couple months so perfect and calipers i painted them red myself for about 25 to 30 bucks total including a brush too so that's that on this part and then going down this way the visors will cost you about 40 as well that's that. Make sure every time you get to install these guys, you put it with a um, Gorilla 3M tape. That's my banner right there I came up with. So if you want one, uh, put the link in the description below for it as well. And then you shoot me a message on uh, my Instagram and I'll put it for you. And if you do support me, uh, you could hit the join button. It's on my channel. And also send me a screenshot of the welcome page. So this way I could put you guys in a private group chat where I do monthly giveaways and make sure you guys respond to you real quick front tints about 35 percent in the front tints and the side tints 35 here and this side is 20 percent so this 20 percent this 20 percent here the ceramic is perfect 
Ponzi ceramics the best bet. Don't get the cheap ones. The regular ones are just whack. Um, the side skirt's about um, 70. And this uh, caliper's paint in the back as well. This is about like, these cost about 40 or 45, I think. I don't know why. And the louvers cost about 35 or 40 as well. And going back, I got the rear roof spoiler, which is about 70. Duckbill spoiler is about 90 to 100. And yeah, that's that. V3s, of course, you guys already know. They, they go about 350 to 390. Um, definitely link in the description below for these as well. That's that. I got the reflectors in the bottom installed. That's about 50. Um, that's that. And then I used a VHC nightshade on the exhaust tips to black it out. And that's this side. And then now uh, going inside. All right, so going inside, um, I have these lights here. I installed them myself. I have video on it. Um, let me just go on the driver's side and show you guys what they look like, honestly. Make it easy for you guys. I'll put the link in the description below for the lights as well. I highly recommend not buying, not buying from uh, one up lighting because the, they kind of fade out, honestly. The, the quality is just bad. Um, let me just go ahead and turn on the accessories for you guys. There you have it. And this is bright all the way around, so which is perfect. This is the quality I was looking for. I'll put the link in the description below for it. You can also DM me at redlightmods.official for it. Definitely send you the link for it. That's that. And I got this cam over here. See that right there? No, I got a bag in the back, so it kind of reflects the reflection of it's right there. So other than that, it'll be like that. You can adjust the brightness to high or low. Um, these cost about like 40 for the whole kit because I did it here too, just like that, white. So you could actually see yourself. And the trunk as well, I put white in the trunk as well. Um, yeah, and I got the all weather mats, really great from the last fit, they're pretty awesome. And this is pretty cool because of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, just a huge magnet. And our magnet for the wireless charging on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is kind of uh, that size. So I thought this would cover it completely and hold it really nice so the phone won't drop down. The small ones, the phone will drop right off. So this is what I got for it. I'll put the link in the description below for you guys if you like it. It's magnetic. It holds it very well. Um, yeah. So that's that. I have a video on actually on how to put your own wallpaper as well, which is pretty cool. And shut this thing off. Sorry about that. All right, guys, so. Yep, that's all you got. Check it out. And for those guys who have been subscribed to me and joined me as a member, I uh, appreciate the support and this is it. This is, I got a few months left on this thing and next thing I gotta go with is a 2021 2.0. If a 2022 comes out, what do you guys think? Should I get a 2021 or a 2022? So comment below, but it's gotta be a 2.0, all right? <laughs> Cause I wanna get performance on the next one in a different build, like white body kit and everything like that. So definitely guys, let me know what you guys think. Till then, next time, peace out. Um,